Hey guys, and welcome to my sixth video of my Learn and Play Jungle series. This guide is going to feature the Viking Olaf, who has one of the best early slash mid games as far as junglers can go. With all the recent nerfs to jungling and jungling champions in general, Olaf has benefited and maybe the proper champ mid for you to play. For runes, I typically run 80 reds and 80 quints with scaling HP yellows and CDR scaling blues. You can run 5% flat at level 1 and 5% at level 18, but magic resistance scaling blues work as well. You can also run lethality reds, but I prefer having the best early game possible with 1580 at level 1. The reason we don't run any armor yellows is because we want to be at the lowest health possible early game to attack and qu clear quicker. For masteries, you'll be going 18.0.12 with Fervor or 12.0.18 with Grasp. This generally depends on your playstyle. If you want to be more of a menace early game, you'll go Fervor and do more DPS early. Whereas if you want to be more relevant late game, you'll take Grasp and take less damage late game. So you'll take Fury over Sorcery as you will synergize with your Red Smite. And Double Edged Sword synergize with your passive. So the lower you are, the more damage you're going to deal because you're going to attack quicker. And finally, Insight is really good on Olaf because with the tier 2 rush, you'll just have your ghost off cooldown every like a minute and a half. Pathing is extremely important on Olaf as you do not scale into the late game whatsoever. So to have the best early game possible with Olaf on purple side, I tend to invade the enemy blue buff. We grab Q level 1, throw them into brushes, hopefully finding someone. If not, we camp the blue buff brush, drop a word behind the wall, and hope someone can not defend it. So once you finish the enemy blue buff, you'll take a point in W and then do the wolves. You will not do Gromp first, as this is the most important step about this cheese. Once wolves are done, you're going to run to Gromp, finish Gromp, but while you're doing Gromp, you're going to most likely see the enemy jungler. So make sure you smite the Gromp, get the extra health, you hit level 3, put an extra point in Q, and then you just destroy the enemy jungler. The best part about this cheese is that you'll have the remainder of your camps up and should be able to escape or 2v1 the enemy team. Just make sure you get your solo laners to push your lanes and you should be fine. Also, don't forget to put your third point in Q and not E, as you'll just end up doing way more damage, and you can pick up your axes immediately. So, Olaf has actually little to no mechanics involved. You basically land your first axe on someone, then pull your trigger on ghosts and run at them. A few things you can do, however, for efficiency in the jungle is not to drink your potions or utilize your smite early, as you will attack quicker at lower health with your passive, therefore doing more DPS and being stronger in skirmishes overall. You can also Q plus E in melee range for a fast burst once you have a few points in both abilities for a lot of damage. Also your combo in the farming camp should be Q plus auto attack plus E plus W as we want our auto attacks to come off cooldown after the first one hits. Similar to like Lee Sin auto attacking before using Q or E, you want to get the attack speed increase right after. Building Olaf is pretty simple, you'll rush your tier 2 lucidity boots and try to Ghosts off cooldown into lanes and trying to get free kills. Once you have your tier 2 boots, you'll get Red Smite plus Cinder Hulk. You can also get a Warriors, but I do not recommend this as you'll be extremely squishy. Depending on whether or not the enemy team is heavy AD, you'll get Dead Man's Player Randuins. Randuins is better for sticking onto slippery targets, just make sure to use your active. Dead Man's Play is also viable as it allows for snowballing and being able to grab picks across the map, which is what you want to do as Olaf as your 5v5 will tend to be less strong than the enemy team. From there on, you will get Spirit Visage as it synergizes extremely well with, with your kit. Against AD heavy teams, you can run items such as Sterax for some damage or Black Cleaver, as most champions you'll face that are AD will be short range and melee champs, so they'll be always in your face, and you'll have the ability to chase after them. Knight's Val and Thormel are also viable options. Against AP heavy teams, you'll most likely get Maul of Malmorius as your primary damage source, and you'll probably get a Lock Hit or a Guardian's Angel right afterwards. In conclusion, Olaf is extremely good against the new lethality meta champion, so I recommend mastering him for some free wins, just make sure that game's on hit late. He also destroys Graves 1v1 as he has two forms of true damage from Red Smite and his E, and simply cannot be kited. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this video helps you out.